What is going on everybody? My name is Salem City and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I focus on two things, faith and entrepreneurship. My goal is to help individuals just as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose and understand that you are God's very best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So what is entrepreneurship? Let's talk about it. So when you type in the word entrepreneurship or what is entrepreneurship, you'll get a ton of different description. Wikipedia kindly described entrepreneurship as the process of designing, launching and running a new business, which is often initially a small business and the individual who are running these businesses are called entrepreneurs. I think that's relatively fitting. And I think with that in mind, let's take that as one of the framework to what is entrepreneurship. I don't know how you came across this video, if it was sent to you or you type entrepreneurship or you're on this big hype about somebody told you about starting your own business, about being an entrepreneur and you wanted to learn what is entrepreneurship about? What does it mean to be an entrepreneur? Well, you're in the right video. So here we're going to be focusing on uh, the definition, what it means in terms of your day to day real life and the mindset it takes for you to be successful. Because I'm going to tell you something, you need the correct mindset for you to be able to be successful long term as an entrepreneur. And also one of the things that sometimes people often confuse is that anybody who is in business is an entrepreneur. That's not the case. Believe it or not, three quarters of most millionaires work for someone else. See, entrepreneurs are people who work for themselves, whether they're the one who are creating the business, whether they're the one who launch an idea, whether they're the one who go and generate money to invest in a particular venture or something like that. They take the risk. They take the idea of from uh, the, the conceiving, from the blueprint to taking it each steps all the way until you can see their finished work. Right. So those are the entrepreneurs. I read an article last year that said close to 8% of the world population are entrepreneurs. I actually don't really believe it's 8%. I'm pretty sure it's probably less than that. Probably around 5% are really entrepreneurs because the reality is entrepreneurship is hard. Based on the definition we just read, here's one thing I'm going to tell you. When you have an idea, which everybody does. Think about this as yourself. When you were younger, you had an idea. When I want to grow older, I want to have this thing. I want to do that. I want to be, become a doctor. I want to, you know, become a pilot. I want to be a, a lawyer. I want to be a ballerina, whatever the case your dream was, the part that sometimes is difficult is launching your dream. So often enough, we enter the school system or sometimes our family or our community. It just kind of like stifles that dream, the little fire that was in us. And then we just kind of go into the day to day mundane. You work the nine to five and you hear this term a lot, especially in entrepreneur realm, nine to five. This is what people refer to when they're often talking about a regular job, nine to five, meaning that you start at nine o'clock a.m. and you finish at 5 p.m. So if you've heard that terminology, that's what it means. So people often enough, you know, you start kind of like going about your life. You know, you go to school, you get the grades, you, you pay for your student loans, you get married, you have kids, and then you forget about some of the plans that you had as growing up as a young kid because the launching process turns out different than what you had expected. See, that's where most of the lot of the dreams for most people change and die. See, but with entrepreneurs, these are people who have never let go of their dreams. It might have taken a longer time or they might have been derailed on the process of school or family or life, marriage, kids. But then again, they, that spark never left them. And they decided one day, I want to launch my own business. I want to do my own thing. I want to do that. I want to, I want to carry this idea to fruition. This is where the launching process comes in. And the launching process is also where a lot of entrepreneurs who start in their launch usually quit because the launching process is really hard. What is means to launch? Meaning that after you design your, your business, now you have to go maybe acquire the money to be able to fund, go get investors to fund into your idea or your business, or it means that you might get a second or third job to be able to get enough money to find whatever side hustle you're working on. Or it might be that what you're starting with is a side hustle, right? It might be a business that requires you to create a team. It might be a business that requires you to create developers, to get products product, to talk to manufacturer, to talk to um, a designer, whatever the case may be, right? So this is the part that's usually tough for a lot of entrepreneurs. And if you survive the harsh grind of the launching process, then 
you come into another echelon of running your own business. And this is really where you see the difference between those who become highly successful and those who just kind of stay average. Because running a proper business, not every entrepreneur has what it takes to run their own business. You might have an idea, you might be great at designing an idea, having ideas you always do have. Uh, you might have these ideas, you might even be able to be a great launcher. You can sponsor, you can fundraise, you can galvanize a team, you can have people behind you. But now the day-to-day -day systemization of your business becomes a little bit more challenging because now you have to think like your boss at work that you did not want to have because you wanted to start your own thing, right? But now that you're starting your own thing, you are now the boss, right? And you have to think like, how does a boss think? If you do have employees or you have people that work for you, or you have a team that is looking for you to lead, now you gotta think like a business owner. And this, these are the three phases that a lot of entrepreneurs would go through. And my, my desire for you is that throughout your journey on entrepreneurship, you go through these different phases and you become successful through these different phases. Uh, is it going to be easy? Probably not. It's probably going to be challenging. Here's one of the reality. On your way towards the success that you want, there's going to come some challenges. Let me give you a practical example of what I mean. When I started with this YouTube channel, I took it also as an entrepreneur journey. I always had a desire to connect with more people where they might be throughout the world, uh, through the travels that I've done. I've done speaking, I've traveled around the world. But one of the things I wanted to be able to share some of the things I've learned Ever since I was young, I've always liked talking. <laughs> That's something that my parents used to tell me a lot, my friends when I was younger. And as I grew, I had this unsatiable desire to learn. As much as I could, I tried to feed my mind with as much information as possible. Uh, that being said, I try to surround myself with the right type of folks, the right type of individuals. And I think in the long term, it paid because very, very young, I'm only 25 years old, I was able to learn a tremendous amount and I was able to start sharing it with people that was much younger than me and people that were even older than me that just didn't have as much access to the same information as I did, right? So that being said, I decided to start this YouTube channel. So how does that mean in terms of being an entrepreneur? So when I started this YouTube channel, I had to put the design first, right? What did I want this YouTube channel to be about? I wanted to talk about myself, but I wanted to uplift, motivate people. I wanted to provide answers to many questions that people had. But at the same time, I had to launch this. And this is where the, usually the hard part comes in. And I think I'm still probably in a launching process more so than just the running the, the, the business. And I'm looking at this as a long-term effect, not just a business, right? So YouTube is not my business. I don't own YouTube, but the way I, I'm branding myself on the platform, the knowledge, the connection I'm having, that I'm using that as a business owner. So the launching process, to give you a plain example, I had to start thinking, okay, I'll definitely need a camera, right? Something to record for me to have. So that was an investment into this particular business. I had to make sure that I had great lighting, so something to do it, like for example right now, it's 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'm able to record, because I got great indoor lights, I got a good microphone, uploading videos on a regular basis, that means making sure that it's optimized in terms of SEO, in terms of visibility, making sure that there's a consistency, so when you're coming in, uh, making sure that the intro is done well, making sure that you know there is a great way with the distribution of the content, making sure that you, the, I'm engaging with the crowd, I'm engaging with the community, with other YouTubers, other creators, doing collabs. So those are the part of the running the business, right? So you go from having the designing the idea of wanting to share something, looking like start to do more videos, to launching it, right? Which means start to film, to record, go through the hard phases of fumbling, of you know the videos not being good, you know the the quality not being as great as you think, but you know sharpening yourself, putting videos in like you barely get any views. Like I remember it was a long time. I think I did like two years, and I only let I probably had less than like 50 subscribers for two years or followers or however you describe it, individuals that were like watching my my YouTube channel. So that was pretty tough. And then from there, things just kind of started growing. But the point I'm trying to say is during those years, it was hard. And, you know, there's still some challenges. And I'm not saying that everything is rosy now, but uh, it's in the launching process that you discover yourself, that you get much better, you get sharper, and you just improve. So I hope that can kind of give you a, a better perspective of what entrepreneurship is. You can take that and apply that to any business model, right? 
You have to design. You should, what is your idea? Do you have an idea? Would you need to partner with someone who may have a greater design and you might have your strength at launching, right? So entrepreneurs doesn't mean that you have to do everything yourself. It could be that you could partner with somebody who is stronger in a particular area, who is easier at launching, but you're better at creating having ideas. Uh, in business, we see plenty of examples of uh, talented companies who had two founders or had co-founders, individuals who came together. One was maybe better at the technical side of things. The other was more of the creative, is more of the, the one that's thinking stuff through, the one that, that, that helps with the marketing, word, whereas the other one is more on the developing side of things. So partnering is also very important. Being an entrepreneur, being in an entrepreneurship space does not mean that you have to do it by yourself. Right. So that's something that's also very important. Surrounding yourself with like minded people will actually help you go further and reach more groups. That's why I am a big proponent of being part of like mastermind groups, being part of like communities of like minded people. So whatever the idea you have first, design it and designing is part of uh, the really the dream process. Dream as big as you can. Your wildest dreams. Right. Don't let anybody hold you back on how big and how far you can dream. Dream big, dream far. On the other hand, be realistic when you start launching, right? Remember, you're probably gonna have to start small and grow your way to the top. So don't get discouraged when you face obstacles and challenges at the beginning or throughout your journey as you're starting. They're made to test how strong you are. When you desire something, when you want something, well, the world is going to test you. Do you really want it, right? Are you willing to have this? And I think God is going to help you throughout the process. At the same time, now when you reach a level where you've launched something, you have something into place, now you got to run it, right? You got to be both a mother and a father to your business, right? Your business is like your baby, right? It's a baby to you. You have to protect it. You have to be the father who is there to protect your business. At the same time, you have to be also the mother who goes and nurture the business. You got to make it grow, right? It can't just remain where it is. It has to grow and become more fruitful. So you have to be both mother and father. I guess that's kind of a cool analogy to look at it that way about running your business. So I hope this can be kind of helpful for you to start thinking of your business in a different light. Uh, about some of the possibilities of things you can do in your business. So this is what entrepreneurship is about. It's about hustle, it's about grinding, it's about having great ideas and bringing those ideas out of your head into fruition. So I hope this was kind of helpful if you came over here looking to understand really what is entrepreneurship, what it entails, uh, what does that mean for you. I'm going to be posting videos like this every single week where we're going to be discussing entrepreneurship, business, money. Uh, we're also going to be talking about faith because that's the other portion of this channel where I focus on also my walk, uh, how faith plays a role into my role into business and entrepreneurship. Uh, it's just going to be an incredible time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And also, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button so it really helps us out with the channel and we also are looking forward to producing an incredible content 2018 is going to be special so you want to make sure you subscribe well that's all for me i hope this was helpful i'll see you guys next time remember you are god's very best take care